What's going on, everybody? James Masson is here. We're New Smyrna. Got this guy sitting over here with his uh, lights off on the sidewalk. Or right next to it, rather. Let's go see what he's doing. It's cold as it can be out. All right, so the officer you're going to see in the car is Officer Galt. I don't know if you remember him from the Ani Roth incident where Jeff was on the sidewalk holding a sign and he was detained by this officer and Officer Beatty. Now, if this officer would have had his like windows down, he would be able to hear me walking up. But instead, nope. And this area that he's in is right on the North Causeway going over to Flagler Avenue. A lot of people come over here. It's, I think, yeah, it's 30 miles an hour through here. And come over the bridge, you'll see him get like 45, 47, and then they start stopping people. So he's in here doing a report, working on his laptop, and he's wearing a hat. So his like, situational awareness is absolutely zero right now. His peripherals down, he can't see anything. Even though the light's off inside the car, he still doesn't know I'm here. Now, if you're a police officer watching this, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks at the end on what to do. When the new trainees would come in, I would give them tips and tricks and teach them on how to just basically not do what this officer is doing. I spoke to a former, I spoke to a former lieutenant with a sheriff's office showing this video. And in fact, he did the same thing teaching the officers the same tricks. He's got a hat on, his peripherals are fucked up. Now when he turns the light on here, I move up just a little bit and I'm nearly parallel to him in the car and he still doesn't see me. Officer safety really is a ruse, like and I mean that. Officer safety is a ruse because if cops were just nicer to people, they wouldn't have to worry so much about officer safety. And this is a prime example of how it's a ruse. If they're out on a traffic stop, they're less vulnerable than this is, and they're more of an asshole on traffic stops when you're there with a camera. One one eight seven nine. And forty one. Forty three. Even though the windows are up, I still don't hear the audio tone of the Doppler radar, you know, the sound. And when he goes to roll the window down on the other side, there's cars that pass by, and you definitely don't hear it. So he's running radar improperly. He should have the audio tone on. That way you can hear the Doppler sound and also visually see the car that's speeding. The biggest things you want to do if you're going to sit in a spot like this, always want to check some peripheral vision every once in a while. We're going to go over here. It looks like he's working on a report or something like that. I couldn't tell, really. His phone has a privacy screen on it. And then one thing right here. That hat, I think, is definitely covering up some of his peripheral. I'd take a hat off at night. When he notices me, what should he have done? Should he have stayed in the car or get out of it? He might have recognized my face, but still, I don't know him personally.
got a digital signature. Still runs radar. His radar is right there. <laughs> That's also gold. That's pretty cool. So they're using evidence.com on a private phone. Hey, what's up? Hello. Hey, what's up? Hello. Man, you got some bad officer safety uh, situational awareness, man. I was just trying to do some paperwork. You're what? I was just doing some paperwork. Oh, I know, man. You got to check every once in a while. I did officer safety training. Every once in a while, just look around, scan. You got you got the white lights that come on on your car? Like the 360s? Yeah, I do. You know how long I've been standing here? A couple minutes. Since you've been parked. That's it. You been all right? Yeah. Cool. Appreciate it. Do that, man. Otherwise, someone will come sneak up on you and pop you. That's the saddest part about it. I would never do that because I like some of you guys. I appreciate it, man. But um, that's one of the that's one of the most. You're Galt, right? Yeah. You remember me from that one time, right? Yeah. But it's just uh, it's crazy is 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 shit. How uh, like when I taught the officer safety stuff or gave that information out, man. Step out of your car, walk around every once in a while. Yeah, I was just trying to just. Oh, I saw. Yeah, I saw it. I was like, "Damn, what's that? You got a pr privacy screen on your phone? You got you guys use your phones for evidence.com too? That's pretty cool. I didn't know that because before when they did our law enforcement stuff, they're like, "No, you can't have anything that's not work related and did all that." So, um, by the way, who's your supervisor on tonight? Uh, Officer or Sergeant Mongosa. Who? Sergeant Mongosa. Mongosa. Yeah. She's a female. Yes. Yeah. Is Jenkins on tonight? Mm, oh, he's off. All right. So anyway. Well, I appreciate it, man. I, um, like I said, just check that. I, I do that every once in a while. There's a trainee that was in the back of your police department. Uh, cause you do need good, good police officers. You know what I mean? Every once in a while, there's, there's a bad guy out there that does that. And I'm, I'm not one of them. I try to tell people, I try to catch the bad guys like the chief with the, the stealing stuff. But, um, uh, I was back behind the police department one day and there was a trainee back there and just situational awareness. It's just out of control. I'm like, damn, but I was over there on that side. I walked all the way over here. Um, and all that. Do you have a 10 meter? No. No, I was going to say, you. yeah, I, I think I asked you last time or something like that. I, I asked everybody if they have a 10 meter, but um, but anyway, um, everything been good? You're off probation and all that? Let's, how long have you been here? Uh, been up to two years almost. Two years? Sorry. I'm like, it's cold as shit out here, so my ears are like covered. Mm -hmm. But yeah, two years. That's good. And um, who's another corporal on tonight? Uh, Helms, Corporal Helms. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that was crazy. All right, well, anyway. Man, take it easy. Just do it every once in a while. Roll the windows down. Look. Do you have the, the 360 white lights? You don't? Like Port Orange. Like, I can't ever sneak up on Port Orange because Port Orange comes up and they always have like their, they have like these door lights up here and they turn them on. They used uh, to use that for profiling cars because they would turn their takedowns on. Yeah, I have takedowns. Yeah. But I don't keep them on. But yeah, no, you, yeah, you would, no one would come over the bridge. They'll see that. Like, what's that? And then. Yeah. And that's what uh, Port Orange was doing. They were, uh, we got them to stop it. They were, they were shining their spotlights and those takedowns on cars. And in my opinion, they were profiling. They're looking for black people and, and Hispanic people. They finally stopped it because I said, you're violating state law. So anyway, I haven't seen, um, what's his name around here? Uh, the gentleman that was with you that night was Mr. Gray. Oh, um, Beatty. 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 Yeah. Yeah. He moved to Edgewater, right? I think that's where it was. Yeah. I, I don't ever go down there because they're, they don't do much down there. So, but, uh, anyway, uh, like I said, do it, man, because you're, you're how, 24? How old are you, if you mind me asking? 21. I'm sorry? 21. Tw so you're 20. Yeah, you're young. As you got a long career. And there's not many bad people around Bad people around this area. But, I mean, look what happened to Daytona there. You guys just wanted to stab someone. I mean, I, 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 I just I stress it enough. Just look down there. You know, Keep your window down. You could probably hear me crunching. Yeah, that, I think that's what, that's what I did. Yeah, because you. Well, I, no, I, I was over there. I was on that side, and I was over here in the back. I was over here. I walked up to right to the corner there just to see if um, I was watching your radar to see what you were doing. I didn't know. If, I didn't want to bug you, you know. So, but uh, man, in SWAT school, this is what I learned. You ready? Cover up the uh, cover up the grass. Take it easy, man. Stay safe. Yeah, no situational awareness there. That sucks. He's running radar.
cops, if you watch this, roll a window down. You'll be able to hear that crunching in this grass. I mean, this side of the grass. Listen to that. You got that window down? And guess what? I didn't hear his audio, or his Doppler tone working on his radar. So anybody that gets stops for speeding, he had that window down and there was cars going by. There was absolutely no audio Doppler tone on that radar, which your ticket should be dismissed. I don't know if you have use it for evidence, but that's how it goes. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing. This is New Summer Beach, Officer Galt. That's the one that uh, got on your oath detained.